Hey everyone, so tonight I kind of just wrapped up my butcher block table. It's made out of sugar maple for the top and it's got this steel base and a big big vice mount, little vice, big mount though, uh, in the corner. And this is something I always wanted. My dad has one. He built out a, you know, just treated, uh, or not treated, but just, you know, regular two by fours and four by four posts from Home Depot. And I always thought, I'd like to take what he built and just make it uh, a little more customized and pretty, and a little more durable. Don't tell him I said that, but anyways, this is what I came up with. So, I mean, I, I just think a, a wooden table is awesome to hammer on and beat on and, uh, you know, because it really absorbs that shock. And it's just a really pleasant type of type deal compared to a cold welding table to uh you know clean chainsaws and sharpen blades and that type of deal but anyways let me show you what i did so like i said this is sugar maple all these boards i ripped from one tree it was a giant tree that uh the crown busted off of it so i ended up just cutting it down before it rotted away and i had a friend of mine sawmill it for me and I probably should have waited, let it cure a little bit more. I had some warpage, some drying issues, but I think it's fine for what it's gonna do. Like I said, I'm gonna, I've already been, you know, spilling chainsaw bar oil and gas all over it, but it's treated with boiled linseed oil. And uh, I did have a few issues after it did dry out more. I had some issues where the joints were opening up so I just filled it with some more glue I just cut with a circular saw like a quarter inch deep and filled it with some glue and that seems to be fine but it's bolted too and three pieces are bolted together and then there's a the glue here and so forth because my little wood planer I couldn't do this whole um, 20 inch wide piece so I was able to plane it in triples and then glue those final dimension pieces together. Um, and then I made this metal base for it. Uh, I think it looks really pretty. And it has these adjustable legs that I can screw this bolt up and down. They sit on these feet. And once I get it where I want it and I level it, because this floor is sloped to the drain a good bit. So and no floor is perfect and no welding job is perfect. So I'm able to level with these. And once, once I get it where I want it, I might just go and run some uh, like construction glue right here and uh, keep the feet nice and stiff to, the, to that point. Now my idea here with the vise was, like I was saying, the one my dad has, we just drilled holes for his vise and there's bolts that go through the wood. And over time of you know me being a dumb kid and trying to trying to bend stuff in the vise and you know all sorts of silly stuff the vise has slowly reamed out that wood and that might be also a, an issue with pine I mean this rock maple I don't think I'm gonna ream it out so my idea was I don't even want to play games with you know putting a lot of stress on the wood so what I did is I made this big plate, press broke it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points of contact into the wood. Then I use these studs to hold the vise. So it really kind of distributes the load a lot better inside the wood. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna keep treating it with that boiled linseed oil, keep the ends uh, nice and lubricated and my friend, my friend who sawmilled this for me, he has a big planer, and he mentioned to me if, uh, you know, in a year or two, if it stabilizes and I don't see these joints opening up anymore, I'll take, the, I'll take this top off and we can run it through his big planer. Because down there you can see it does have a little bit of, you know, wave to it. And we'll get that, you know, laser level. But I don't know. I just want to mention I love maple because of... The way every board looks different, you know, this bark beetle spalting, um, and then just every single board has a different color to it. It's really beautiful.
But uh, yeah. Alrighty, so that's the quick little rundown on my table. And uh, now I'm just going to uh, rewind to January when I started this project. Um, and kind of, uh, you know, let that version of me take over. So. Today, 